What if you could have two receivers on your drone, so it would always get the best signal from your radio controller? The Beta FPV Super D Express LRS receiver combines two individual receivers on the one chip to do just that. Installation and setup is like any other Express LRS receiver. However, you ideally want to mount the second antenna vertically to ensure you have full coverage when you're doing all kinds of maneuvers and flippy floppies. But how does this differ from normal receivers or other dual antenna receivers? The simplest way to think about it is like microphones, headphones, and ears. Your radio controller is shouting commands towards your drone. For a normal receiver with a single antenna, it's like having a microphone connected to a single or mono earphone. A dual antenna receiver is where you have two microphones connected to a mono earphone. Yes, you have more chance of hearing the command, but it still relies on a single earphone sending the commands to your brain or your processor. While the Beta FPV Super D is what's called a true diversity receiver, and it's like having stereo headphones with a separate microphone for each side. What this achieves is a stronger signal for your drone, which gives you more range and penetration and a more accurate control link when flying. So you're probably wondering why I'm up at the crack of dawn to go flying. Well, and I'm gonna be heading out to the beach to fly. And what that means is I'm gonna to have to deal with a whole bunch of people and the earlier you're up, the less people that are about. But the other aspect is I'm gonna be flying just outside of the 5Ks of Sydney Airport. And Sydney Airport has a curfew, which means planes can't land until 6 a.m. But it just so happens that I'm just outside the runway in space and I don't want to have to get caught with commercial aircraft. Now, the planes can't land until 6 a.m. So that means I need to be up, out and having flown back down and landed by quarter to six at the absolute latest. So getting up at the crack of dawn to get out by sunrise, get everything sorted, before the commercial airlines come in, it's gonna be a challenge. Now, in terms of where I'm flying, it's not actually a really big flight. It's only a couple of kilometers, so the all up round trip is about three and a half Ks. I'm gonna take off at the car park, head straight down across the two different beaches, and then up the rock face, and now over what's called Wedding Cake Island. Now it's not much of an island at high tide, it's basically a whole bunch of rocks, and then straight shot back. Now realistically, this isn't going to be a strong test for a diversity receiver, especially on Express LRS. I'm going to be flying on one watt, because why not, and I'm going to be flying on 150 hertz. So the range on this is absolutely almost impenetrable in this situation. And you can probably tell by the DVR that the RSSI sits at, you know, 60, 50 to 60 the whole time. It's absolutely solid and link quality 5 of 100 and it doesn't even bat an eyelid. So it's proving to do the job it is exactly trying to do. And, and that's really what you want. So it's proving to do the job that you want it to do. You want it to be absolutely robust and almost infallible so you don't have to rely on GPS rescue to get you home. And um, so that's the last thing I want to do is have a drone flying around while I'm trying to reconnect my receiver over a car park in the rock cliff and I don't necessarily want to lose it. The other thing is this is a spot I'd actually like to come out and fly another time with a freestyle drone and obviously have it waterproofed and maybe a floaty on it. Um, I saw Nurk has a waterproof drone, so maybe I might get my hands on one of those and just see if it can actually survive if I end up in the drink. Although it'd be pretty awkward if I get done by a wave. This is something that every pilot, whether you're flying freestyle, cinematic, racing, long range, can take advantage of and benefit from. Now, this isn't a new technology. Both Crossfire and IRC Ghost have had true diversity for some time now. However, this is another tick in the feature column if you were to compare the radio links on a spec for spec basis. If you're thinking about getting into Express LRS and want to know how to wire up a receiver, watch this video here to find out how. Or if you're unsure about Express LRS compatibility, watch this video here. I'm Darren Allett, until next time, don't forget to send it.